Introduction to SP Data Manager. Turn your MS Excel into a powerful data management tool for SharePoint. So what can you do with SP Data Manager? Well, you can take data management in SharePoint to a whole nother level. You can do everything from importing data into a new SharePoint list or into existing SharePoint lists, or even inserting data or appending data to a SharePoint list. You can migrate data from one SharePoint list to another or many lists. You can do a bulk update of SP list data, for instance, for changing statuses or maybe reassigning salespeople to different uh, accounts in your CRM data. You can archive and restore SP list data. For instance, if you have a SharePoint list that's going to be going over 5,000, you can use this to prevent that from happening and keep it in an archive on Excel and then be able to restore it item by item whenever you want to. You can import documents into SP Lives from your file shares or your own computer libraries, and you can even create metadata while you're doing that. You can do bulk or selective deletes of list items, if you get, for instance, getting rid of duplicates out there in certain lists. You can select data using SP views or rows to do filtering, and you can even do easy field mapping and filtering specific fields to other fields when going from migration list to another migration list. You can there's support for lookups, users, choice field types, and it really allows you to take advantage of the powerful Excel data manipulation to actually change the data and then push it back into SharePoint. So what is Data Manager? It's an Excel add-in, and what it does is allows you to turn your Excel into a SharePoint data and document tool. It's designed for business power users. So let's take a look at it. This is actually the dropdown that you have in Excel, and you can see the different components of the products. Let's take a look at how you might use it. First of all, in the settings area, you connect to your SharePoint sites. It could be one or more sites and provide uh, direct connection to it. Then you identify your source lists or libraries as well as destination lists and libraries. Next, you define the list mapping or library uh, mapping. This is where you actually map Excel columns to SharePoint list uh, columns. Next, you retrieve data or documents from the source. If it's from sh one SharePoint list to another, you could actually bring the data down. If it's something that you're bringing in from another system, you might use the data connectivity uh, capabilities of Excel to bring it in from databases, or you might just have an export from another legacy system or something like that. Once you get the data in, it brings it into the columns. You can modify, edit, or change the data in Excel using some of the powerful features of find and replace and other things in Excel. Then you can actually take the resulting data, either migrate it to a new SharePoint list or library. You can update the existing SharePoint list or library insert new data into a SharePoint list or library as well. And again, once again, it supports all SP columns, not only lookups, but multiple lookups, users, choice fields, and more. Let's take a look at it. So here I am in my Excel, and we can say, here's SP Data Manager. Now, we recently migrated our CRM from an older version of it in SharePoint to a new version of it in SharePoint. Usually, that would be a very tough thing to do from a data migration standpoint, but with Data Manager, we were able to achieve the entire sets of migration of the data, the documents, and everything in just a few hours. And here you can see actually all the different mappings and lists. I mean, I had probably a dozen lists and a few libraries, and some of the lists had many thousands of records in them. And it literally allowed us to achieve a migration that would have taken days, maybe even a week, and which is a time we couldn't really afford to have either of the CRMs down to just a few hours or a couple of hours, really. And that's the power of this tool. So let's take a look at maybe how I might use it in a sales territory reorganization. I have an opportunities list. I've connected it using the settings. I've actually identified the source list as the prospects list. And then I've set mapping up. And then what I can do now is apply that mapping. So if we go down here, we'll see new prospects and apply selected mapping. I go in, it pulls in columns that I've told it that I wanna see in this. Now the next step is to actually retrieve the data. And I'm actually gonna retrieve just the active prospects and opportunities out there that have sales reps assigned so that I can actually change around which sales reps are assigned to which data. So I go in and I say, 
retrieve SP data. It goes out, grabs the information or the data from the list, brings it in, and now I can go ahead and manipulate it. In this case, Bob Hess has actually moved to another job in the company, and we're going to go ahead and use Excel to change it, every account that's assigned to Bob Hess to Mary Smith, who is the new rep that's taking over his area. This is where I can, again, use Excel and its powerful capabilities to go in and say, everywhere we find that Bob is there, change it to Mary Wilson and replace all. So now these are all changed. Now what I can actually do is I can go in and update the SP data, and it will actually make those changes. Now, it's important to make sure that you have Mary's name spelled right uh, so she can be identified as the user. Um, I could also, if I wanted to migrate it to a new list, I could actually select columns and delete certain columns. This is great for duplicates or that type of thing. There's actually a duplicates capability within Excel. So there's a number of things you can do uh, with this. And in this case, I'll just hit update and we'll see that it will actually replace Bob with Mary. If we were to do this with a data view or try to do this from within SharePoint, uh, it would be very time consuming and, and kind of frustrating. But here, it's easy to do. That's what SP Data Manager is all about. Learn more about SP Data Manager on our webpage at spmarketplace.com slash sp data manager. Here you'll see more information about the features, screenshots, and actually allow you to sign up for a free trial. SP Data Manager is part of the SP Marketplace Solution Suite. SP Marketplace provides business application templates for Office 365 and SharePoint, out-of-the-box solutions in a full intranet structure, which you can purchase as a full suite or in separate components.